we talking about this? What episode is this? Forty two? Forty seven. It is not forty seven. It's, it's not we've not <laughs> gone that long. Oh, sorry. Is it too loud? Pulling pull the thread podcast episode forty seven. Here we go. Just uh, because so, John says it doesn't mean it's the right number. So you're getting you're getting a tattoo. Um yeah, I, no, I want to get a tattoo. Yeah, I want to get a tattoo. I want to get I, in my head, I have three tattoos already picked out. So you're getting three all at once? No, no, not all at once. I mean, because of... I would do a full back piece. I'm not... Once. You can't do... I've already talked about this. Um, I don't... I want to enjoy whatever it is that I'm going to get, get well, tattooed. Well, you're not going to enjoy any of it. And... Uh, and... People... Only only Brandel will enjoy my back tattoo. While you're getting it. He doesn't yeah. enjoy getting tattoos. Oh, no, I, I get that. Nobody likes that. Like, that's some I bullshit. Don't that. That, no. I, don't, I don't believe that. I know. I, 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 I can bring JJ here, and I guarantee you he will be like, yes, I 100% love getting tattoos. That dude would have tattoo parties in his garage. He went to a secret Yakuza bar in Japan just to get some Japanese ink. Yeah, he would. He, I guarantee you that it's the Who's thrill JJ? of the needle. He's a, uh, a, he's a, a Marine of mine that has okay. kept going and has an illustrious career. In, going right now in receiving tattoos uh definitely in receiving tattoos yeah what's his career what's he do he's a master guns and okay so he's still yeah. in wow yeah he's still wow in, yeah. he must hate it he does hate <laughs> it. fucking hate it he does no i'm sure he loves it because he's still in and we uh, should do a whole channel of just marines that are in the marine corps and have hate. them come in like blackface like fucking bar them out talking put about a bot and tell the up, truth yeah. yeah tell the truth yeah this is it, how it really it. is um, but no what i i think when Evan said you hate tattoos, that is not that's never been true. I have never said I hate tattoos. What I've said is tattoos, you know, again, cuz me and you grew up in a different time. So tattoos were always a rite of passage. Yeah, but if you if you got a chick with tattoos, she did a lot more dirty things for you. Well, that's cuz she was a lot dirtier, right? Exactly. So but what I'm saying is tattoos were always a rite of passage and when you, we grew up. And you can make a hoe a housewife. No, you can't. Yes. You, you never yes. can. You and, never can. It never that never works. It does. It never works. It, if it, you if she was if she was a hoe if she was a hoe before you met her and she transitioned herself into housewife available and you don't know she was a hoe, <laughs> then yes, women can do that. But you ain't taking a hoe off the street and turning her into a, you know, she, you're just bringing a hoe in your house. It's a werewolf. You just gave yeah. her the chemicals you just to keep her, her from yeah. turning for a while. So, but uh, I've always said that it, you know, it's, it has to be special in itself. It has to have a rite of passage, meaning, you know, you earned the fucking dude, tattoo. Dude, you are branded. Yeah. I earned that motherfucker too. No. Yeah. No, no disputing, but I that's way it. fucking, I think that's way more hardcore than a tattoo. But again, I went through a rite of passage. I earned it. Can I, and it's can special I re, to me. Can I rebrand you? No, I, I wouldn't get another brand. Why? Cause I, I already have the one who put yours on. Um, man, I can't think of his name. I, well, you know, Ken, no, Ken Stevenson, Ken Stevenson was the one that did it. Why don't we have him come out and redo it? Because you can't, that's the thing, that's the thing about a brand. You can't really rebrand it. I would have to brand somewhere else. Like We can try know. it on Jack's cow and see if it works or not. What? Jack's cow? Jack, yeah, Jack would let us do does that. Does he brand his cows? Do they brand cows anymore? I don't know. If, no, no, no. They ear tag them now. We could brand them. I'm sure we could. I have a, I have a, a, a I have an SOE brand. Well, uh, who's getting it? Brandel or who's getting the SOE brand? You got tattoos? Yeah. Where? <laughs> You have a fucking tramp stamp, don't you? It's a butterfly. It is a butterfly. Two butterflies. What's your woman? In? What's your woman got? The sunrise. Uh, she's got a full back piece of you going like this. <laughs> yeah. No, she's got something on her shoulder. I can't remember what it is though. Oh, you're in trouble oh, now. Yeah. You know Did she you listens say that out to this. Loud? Hey, edit that out, because uh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, fucked that's now. That's some bullshit right yeah. there. You don't remember what it is. She's about to get a forehead tattoo. You'll remember that motherfucker. Yeah. Anyway, so it, it's never. It's always been that, right? So when you're in the Marine Corps. All everybody gets tattoos in the Marine Corps, but they don't ever get anything that's unique or special. They get fucking. Brandel, you know, Brandel has a story about every one of his four hundred tattoos. Yeah, but I mean, come on, look at him. I think he's. I, I just the reality is the reality is I think he just did eight to ten in Quentin. Let me see your teeth. He has really good teeth. Yeah, he does have good teeth. Those teeth Pretty, really like they, they they just glisten amongst all the tattoos. 
And that's that's always been my argument, right? My argument is the fucking cake boss should be the cake boss, not fucking have spider webs on his elbow. Unless he's coming from that position. But when people <clears throat> when people are normal, everyday human beings and they're getting teardrops, you just fucking ruined the tattoo. You're but that's all those ass. that's all the different kitchens Josh worked in. That's why he's got all those teardrops. No, that's not. And the spider you know you, you know the there. creases in your chef hat? Once you master these different skills, you get a crease. That's like all those. Again, that's, that's why Josh has all those spiderweb tattoos. But again, that's the rite of passage, right? That is the rite of passage. If you're a fucking merchant marine and you're stopping in the Solomon Islands and you're going to have one of the locals tattoo something on you, you've you've made it. That's the rite of passage. Can you bring back some if you're Solomon in, Island skinks with you? Do they have skinks in Solomon? Yeah, Island? Um, they most definitely. And oh, Solomon okay. Island boas also. Yeah, I, I, why not? They're That's the, how they get around the They're inexpensive world. ones. They they look kind of creepy, but no, but you don't want them. Right. So, anyways, that's, yes, I, I have. And the other thing is my mom was always very anti-tattoo, and so I've kind of, true. She's, no, I, I'm 100%, man. Yeah, I happen to know my, mom has some tattoos, though. Yeah, she does have some tattoos, and and the reason, the I think the reason why she was always, like, very anti-tattoo was because the reason she got those tattoos were not the right reasons. And so I've always, with my mother, I have always tried to honor whatever her wishes are. Like you know, no foul language in the house, and uh, did I cuss? No tattoos. Mom? No, you didn't. No tattoos. And now she cusses like a you know a frothy sailor. I, she says she, shit comes out of my mom's mouth where I'm like, there's no way that are you possessed? Where did that come from? Because there's no way you ever said that in real life. Uh, and so I've tried to honor all that stuff, and now. You know, uh, what about a mom time? will have no idea if I get a tattoo or not. So what about times are changing? What about times are changing? Times have changed. What used to not be acceptable is now acceptable. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but that's not, that's not why I would get a tattoo. I, I'm not going to get Do a tattoo. Do any of your because... children have tattoos? Yes. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, both of the boys, I believe. Did you counsel them against it? Did they no, ask uh -uh. your, did they ask your opinion? Uh, no. Did they know your opinion? Yeah, I'm sure they knew my opinion. Were you there when my son got their first tattoos? Was I here? Well, one of them, was, how old was he, 13 when he got yeah. his first tattoo? Yeah. yeah <laughs> like I'm, a full-on <laughs> fucking tattoo. Yeah. And then you know, Cody, so, Cody got his whole fucking arm done. Anyway, so that's that's where I'm at right now with uh, tattoos. All right. But again, you know, tattoos are expensive, not just in f f money. I I will pay for your tattoo. Not just in money. But also in time, as you know, it'll be time. But I will pay. Time, I will. So. I will pay the compensation. For I have to figure out time and when can I do it. As you know, there's a lot of things going on. Well, so. the real question is when can these guys go? Because we're going to video it. We're going to build content off of it. I will pay the compensation for a proper tattoo. Mm, it's not going to. It's it, not your shit. Will be in a magazine. It's not going to have fucking SOE anywhere on it. No. <laughs> no. It'll, it'll be small. It'll have a little penis in there somewhere, no, though. No, mm -mm. aren't you getting a big? See, that, aren't you that's getting a big, why. I, that's why I have to do it in secret nah. because I know you're going to be like, "Hey, man, you know what he'd really like? <laughs> he'd really like if there was a penis in there somewhere, just hidden." You're not going to have a penis on the on the hog, isn't no. it? A giant hog? Yeah, but he's got his shorts on. You should do a hog. You should do a hog on the hog all the way head to toe. Like his head, head to should toe? be on the back of your head. His shoulders should be on your shoulders. I'm not. I, I didn't. Go, I didn't go to that school. You're not going to Yakuza. Yeah, okay, is he going to have UDT school. shorts on? No. Because if he had UDT shorts, you'd have his balls hanging out. Like I don't even know. Either that or and and on that, I'd put some uh, birth control glasses on there. I'd make it really. I'd just put Ranger Dave on there as a hog. <laughs> I don't know if Ranger Dave would be too pleased with that. What gun would he have? <laughs> what gun would he? Would we have a fucking crazy what? ass Jeep in the background? The, the crazy ass Jeep. You're gonna need and, some more real and estate. And the reality is, whatever. Whatever the most currently exotic and off the wall gun is available, that's what he would have. Yeah, right. Whatever it is, he probably have one of those. Uh, you, what's that? That HK that had the twenty millimeter grenade launcher underneath mm -hmm. it. That's that you exactly can set what, the distance and timing exactly to go around corners Dave and shit. Would have. That's what ha Ranger Dave would have. But then it would be, you. Would, he would have that, and then you'd be like, "Wow, that's really cool. You got that thing." And then he'd be like, "Oh yeah, but I put a button over here, and it also shoots flames." Did you see, did you ever see a silkworm farm? I never, his silkworm farm? And all the spiders he had? No, I never saw any. Because he was making all his ropes out of fucking spider web. Uh, again, as crazy as that sound, if you're, if you're totally pulling my leg, 
I 100% believe it because that is the kind of crazy shit that he does. Did you go on his... Uh, I never went into any... His his uh, recreational vehicle? I never went into his What was that movie? Vehicle? Stripes. He has a hot tub in that thing. The EM50. That's what that would have yeah. been. Yeah. The EM50. He has a hot tub in there. And uh, in these aquariums, he has like a silkworm farm. In the hot tub? No, in the RV. Oh, oh okay. He's. I would assume that if he had a silkworm farm in there... I honestly believe that Ranger Dave would be making like um, exotic Armor. panties. No, exotic panties. exotic exotic panties that he sells on the internet. So you know, silk actually comes from silkworms. Yes, like yeah. that's not uh -huh. any bullshit. No, no, I know. What a trip! Who the fuck thought of that? In the in the in the eighties, my mom had a uh, a business where they were making silk pajamas, and that was one of the things she had to do was go to some silkworm farm to make sure that the silkworms were... Properly you know, sourced. A number one, yeah. A number one silkworm. So, Fucking crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. Well, the crazy part is, when you think about it, it's something that is coming out of an animal's butt. Yeah. And then somebody went... Hmm. And it has to eat a certain kind of leaf. Yeah, some, But they, it's coming out of the butt, and then somebody's like, hmm, you know it would be great? If I could make some clothes out of that little ass thread... <laughs> Fucking bizarre. Some clothes out of that little S thread. So what's going on today? I've looked at zero. I we the world could be on fire for all I know. I don't have a clue what's going on today. Do you? Today, no. social media wise, today, yesterday, today, no. I don't. I have no idea except uh, every time I turn on YouTube, it's like, oh my god, the sky's falling. Oh the, my god, the sky's falling. Yeah, except the same two guys, the Secretary of Defense and the, um, it's Blinken and the Secretary of Defense. I can't think of his name. The State Department are asking the U.S. government for a hundred million dollars in emergency funds because of the war going on with Israel and hundred billion, hundred billion, yeah, yeah a millions, nothing anymore. And, a millions, uh, like you don't even pick a million up off the ground. It's like and pennies. it's like Jesus Christ. The, the whole reason, the whole reason why Israel is having to go in there and clean out Gaza is because of the money we gave them in the first place. The the U.S. Depart the U.S. State Department is trying so hard. Well, we are the bad guys. They're trying so hard to get us in a fight. They're yeah. doing everything they can. They're they're literally parking. <laughs> they're literally parking shore. It would be like imagine if the Iranian Navy, if the Iranian Navy was like, "Hey guys, we're just on a peaceful mission. We're just out here making sure everybody's safe," and they parked off. They parked in the Bay of San Diego, and they're like, "Hey, we're just here." Do you think the U.S. would do anything about that? Of course they would. What would they uh, do? Well. They wouldn't have got there to begin with. Yes. They wouldn't be there in the first place, but that's what we're doing. What we are doing is sending hundreds and thousands of U.S. service personnel into harm's way for no reason. What are the C-17s dropping in a fight. off? The what? The C-17s. What are they dropping off? Uh, pr probably gold bars. If it's us, it's fucking pallets of cash, gold bars, and fucking... Delta Force operators in boxes so that you don't know they're there. Trojan, Trojan Deltas. Yeah, Trojan Deltas. I mean... The, there's nothing, there's no part of this. There is literally not a single part of this that Israel cannot handle. Do you hear we're giving $400 million a week to the Taliban? Oh, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't did, surprise you, me did you hear the CIA I, chick, the operative that was um, on Sean Ryan's show last week? No. She says, and, and she's a whack job, it seems like, as her own. I guess we're never getting her on our show, but... Um, She's out there telling all like they're gonna whack that bitch. Like she only so that she captured like the number fucking one Taliban guy during the Obama administration. Like they were they were cock blocking her to mm -hmm. hear her story. Like she went over her <laughs> op boss's head and everything. And uh they actually snatched this dude up, have him. And then all of a sudden somebody comes down and they're like, You can't interrogate him. Uh we we wanna talk about ending the war. How do we turn him? What is what we want to uh, basically end this and put the Taliban back in charge? And she's like, "What the fuck?" But she's like, "So it's a trip when these CIA people come out and say all this shit that makes the United States look so bad. Like it makes you think that they are not CIA anymore." Now she's like, "I'm still working for DOD and I still do these things and Under I can't eat mushrooms." She must have a book coming out. Understand that. Understand that the level of operation that is going on in the CIA. And when you have somebody, you have a, a podcast such as Sean Ryan's or Joe Rogan. Now, Sean, it, Sean is the number two show, I believe, under Joe Rogan. Because they've, because they have, they have done this on the Joe Rogan show is when you have somebody 
when you have somebody come out and they say, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you all about the UFOs," or "Hey, I'm gonna tell you all about the CIA," just disinformation. That in itself is just a disinformation op. Now you're over here looking at this bullshit, and you're like, "Oh my god, I can't believe in '72 that the CIA assassinated the, you know, premier of." kill them poor or whatever and so you're looking at this while the cia is actually out there doing it right fucking now um yeah it's just disinformation i i would say that especially when you talk about still working for the dod still operating in those norms you just if 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 i came out <clears throat> you think sean's gonna be mad when we snatch him up and bring him in here oh i think he'll think he's i think he'll think it's a hoot i think especially you know what we should do what we should do when we snatch him up is we should dress everybody up like Arab terrorists. <laughs> I think he will think that is the funniest shit ever. You know, if we get, so some, we should just have Pierre go get him. Yeah. If, oh, Pierre would be perfect for it. Right. No, 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 no. We have to have, um, regular, not, I don't want to say regular dudes, but, um, we have to have, uh, us dressed as no, no, we have to have, yeah, we have to have, we have to have dudes dressed up, as Taliban terrorists that do the snatching, right? They do the snatching. And then when we take the mask off, that's when Pierre rolls in, right? He, he, we get him all dressed up, throw some gold chains on him and shit. And that's when he, that's when Pierre rolls up. That Sony, will really Sony guts. Sony guts. Yeah. That's really where I think, I think Sean would like that. I, you know what? I think he would like it right around his birthday too. Zohan. We'll just have him there with a dust buster. That's what I'm saying. I think I think Sean would really really appreciate that kind of attention to detail and that kind of accuracy in his, his snatching up to bring him on the podcast. Last time we walked right up to him, he didn't realize we were there till we were there. I'm like, so, got I got you, motherfucker. <laughs> so I think that's the, I I actually think that's the the best idea, Sean. I we'll just leave. Put a like down in the comment, Sean, if you want to be snatched up for your birthday. We'll just we'll bait him in with gummy bears. He likes gummy. Does he like gummies? Oh, he does love gummy bears. Yeah, he does love gummy bears. Um, so you guys have something in common. You could talk about your European uh, illegal gummy bear uh, import gummy trade. Bear import trade. Yep. I only That's use the one. finest uh, Italian yeah. gummy bears. The finest Italian gelatinous gel. That's right. Yep. That's right. right. I th that's a good idea. Sean, really, throw a thumbs up in the comment if you're looking for a uh, a terrorist kidnapping. Or let's all party. run up to him in those giant inflatable bubbles. That would kind Have of be cool too. Those? Yeah, we'll just bowl over them. That would be cool too. What would be cool is if you ha if they make one of those giant inflatable bubbles that you could be in and run, but it also has a chamber, so when you run him over, it sucks him into the <laughs> bubble it. too. That'd be kind well, of cool. It's got too. the little butthole. I mean, that's how you. That's get what in I'm it. saying. Yeah, run him right over, so he has to. That would be a great kidnapping, right? If you're just somebody's just standing there, is and then it kidnapping all of a the bubble, if we don't mean any ill will? Like we couldn't really well, still be he's in also, trouble for kidnapping. Probably he's also an adult, so he'd I'm, have to press charges, not, right? I I do believe in cases of kidnapping that the the a, the law enforcement agency could actually do charges, whether you want to or not. What if we get the law enforcement agency involved with us? What if they help us bring him in? I mean, it's possible. We we're going to need U.S. marshals. We know some U.S. marshals. I know. We'll, we'll need marshals because you want to be at a, you want, when you're, when you're talking about agencies, you want to be at a level where there's not another level above them. Got it. I mean, right? I, yeah. the one, I mean, they're usually waking me up when right. I, when I meet them. Right. They're usually in my house. And you're like, when they wake you up, you're like, oh, that's some really great kit. Did I make that? <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's a good idea with Sean Ryan. Well, she's with us. These are the, the, my, these are my uh, unofficial sponsors. These are the Victus. Have you talked to Victos? No, uh, of course not. I don't know any seals. Um, this is a they, great. That's not a SEAL Team company. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yes, they're all they're all ninjas, bro. It, only a ninja could make these sweet ass these sweet ass shoes. They're like, okay, we want a van, but we can't call it Vans. No, these are way better than Vans. You again? I have you know I have I have all the boots. Would Vinny wear this? I'm sure Vinny. I am sure Vinny tiptoed across a, a rooftop. In a pair of these already, yeah. I bet he only they're wears so, Chuck Taylors. They're so quiet. I love them, and they're comfortable. So, like literally, when you step on the when you're in the house and you're on the wood floors, and you're they look too floor. wide. The toe box. Oh man, I love it. I love how wide they are up there. My toes can just 
squish around in them? I feel like if four I wore toes? those, I would. You like, only have four toes. I would. I Why would, would stub you? my toe. Those things are so big. What happened to your other toes? I have all my toes. Why did you tell me you had four toes? I said you could spread them. Yeah, yeah, that's you. Yeah, you get them out there. I like that. You should get a sponsor from those uh, the monkey toe shoe guys. What are those called? Toe toe shoes? No, no, toe shoes are out, John. That was so. That was so early two thousands. Nobody wears toe shoes anymore. You get not Tiva, even the toe shoe guys. Tiva sponsor. Tiva. I'm not a Navy SEAL again. Stop it with the Navy SEAL references. It's all right. I'm not a Navy SEAL. I don't wear Tevas. I don't wear shoes that have shoe strings. See, those are strings though. Just because you have a ratcheting system on your shoe. <laughs> That's that doesn't change anything. Still, still strings. Man, it takes so long to. These, tie these your are way, shoes. these are the best. As a matter of fact, I'm. I spent a long time going. I will never wear these in the dirt. Who even ties their shoes and anymore? Had, it's like it, they they do it to torture kids to have to learn how to tie your shoes. No, come on. That's like cursive handwriting. You should know how to tie your. You know they're shoe. not. You know they're not teaching cursive. I know anymore. they're not. And that's why they will. That's you know why they're they're that's, doing that, right? Why? So people can't sign their name. No. So they can't read the motherfucking Constitution. That might be true. I've heard it's, that. So they can't read I've the Constitution. I got to pee. Green, though. Are so we back? Are we back? Are we live? Are we live? Are we good? All right. Episode 46. 47. Is 46 well, I don't published? Understand. You say, right I just said 46, and then you showed me 42. How come you have Why to come? Why is John saying 47? How come you got to come here to upload videos? Uh, your Wi-Fi fast. Do you have, like, a crank on your microwave still? <laughs> His Wi-Fi is fast. It's because it's of Elon, isn't it? Yeah. Do you not have? Do you not have internet? Well, I do, but it's not as. Fast. Do you, like are you not buying a Tesla home? No. Have Why you not? seen them? Would you want a Tesla home? Fuck yeah! Which one? The ones that fold the fold out Tesla home or yeah, have the, you seen yeah. them? I want all of them? It's only fifteen grand. Yeah, but I I feel like uh, you want to hear something crazy. I was like, Home Depot has a house. They'll come out. It's like multi level tiny house. Looks like a bunch of shipping containers. It's really nice. Forty five grand. A man is like, oh, that's not a bad deal. I'm like, it's absolutely insane. That we are saying that's not a bad deal, forty five grand for a tiny house. When a tiny house just a few years ago was like this shed right here, we bought it seventy five hundred on a repo. It's fourteen thousand dollars right now. It's supply and demand. People think they want to live in the tiny house until COVID hits, and then they're like, "I can't believe I'm living in this little tiny house." I think I'm moving into a tiny house. Shut the fuck up. Just, you know what? Stop. Stop lying. I mean, technically, this is the thing that most people don't know about about John is, technically, if you think about it, you you already live in a tiny house. Like, if you were to go upstairs and measure that square footage, you do already live in a tiny house. But then you have all the other place to roam around in. If I said, John, I'm going to put a fucking, I don't know, well, let's just go nuts. 20 by 30 tiny house back here and you have to live in it and you can only put the things in it that you need in that 20 by 30 and you don't get to use any of this other shit you would lose your motherfucking mind i mean the just the gym alone just the gym alone if i said hey no more gym sorry because you live in a tiny house that would fuck you up well i'm gonna live in the tiny house no, I mean, technically you, that's what I'm saying. Technically you already live in a tiny house. I keep saying school bus in Alaska and Amanda has said, she's like, I'm not going to Alaska. The only, the only, find thing out. I, the only thing I know about a school bus is in Alaska is uh, bears eat you. The bears eat you and you will starve to death and die because you ate the wrong berry. Um, that, so, there's a lot of theories as to what happened to him. I think uh, we can do better. No, no. You don't want to go to Alaska? I'll go to Alaska, but I ain't moving into a damn school bus in the winters of Alaska. No, I'm not doing that. Have you seen yeah. your Overland trailer, bro? That's what I'm saying. I will go to Alaska, and I will hang out in Alaska, but eventually I'm going to have to go somewhere where there's like running water and hot so, food. So when you're doing and, all your Overland stuff, are you really sleeping in hotel rooms? It's funny you should say that. I'm gonna have uh, Brandel. I'm gonna have Brandel follow me in the Mercedes, the and Sprinter van, in the Sprinter van, and so with the I'll, hot tub in it. Right. I will. Uh, you know, I'll do the. I'll do all the cuts in the in the in the dog kennel. But at night, we'll be in the Sprinter van. You know, watching TV. If Bear Grylls can do it, I can do it too. Why? Why can't if if Bear can if Bear can be in a Is hotel that room? Got busted night, out. Bear was actually doing hotel stuff. 
you know, the interesting thing is I don't think it was intentional, right? Because it's it's all about content. But you can't have you can't have a crew of 30 people out on the ice caps every night drinking their own piss. They they, they got to have a place to go. But it's so, full of vitamins. So again, will you be doing any pee drinking on your channel? Depends on how rough it gets. Depends. Like if we're in Alaska, if we stay in Alaska and you're in your school bus and I'm in the dog kennel, I'm sure that there's going to be some pee drinking. The question is, do you drink your own pee or do you drink your buddy's That's where pee? I was going with this, yeah. right? You know that the, the royals used to whiten their teeth. Yeah, yeah there used to be people it, that would do that. You had to use a stranger's pee. And once you've used the pee one time, you already know that guy, so you can't use his pee anymore. That's true. You it's got to be a stranger. Ran- you have to randomly get a... We should do a whole channel on that. On on the pee that they would bring up? Let's go to Brazil. Walmart. I'm, I'm sure we can get somebody's piss at Walmart right in the No, there's a... You know, the... Um, the the local uh, establishment where you can buy the local establishment oh, they where you sell can, yeah I that's, do believe that's that not they real have, human piss though. I believe they have a back room where you can get some pee what local establishment are you talking it's, about I don't want to I don't want to dime them what out what do they do at this establishment they, they sell exotic erotic things and so do you have I, a dildo store somewhere over there when you say over there it's just as close to you as it is to me. Um, it is. It's just. Uh, it's just a short trip up the forty. And if you're a truck driver, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I do believe I was told by a pretty credible, a pretty credible uh, source that 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 establishment buys P to resell P. So, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I'm just saying. We. we I don't want to dime them out. We can talk offline because you know, I think P selling is one of those just right up there with milk that <laughs> the feds. Yeah, I do. If you're if you're if you're selling milk under the table that has not been, uh, I think there's a lot less machine guns at the piss peddler. I doubt it. I bet the I bet they bring a full crew in there. ATF guys would be swinging in through the windows and flashbanging, and dildos and shit would be flying everywhere. They would calculate their yeah. incendiary charges to right. incinerate the piss. Maybe I don't know. So, are there any books at adult bookstores anymore? Do they publish smut? Is it smut? Is that what we call it? I think it is smut. Yeah, I think that's what, I think that's what they would call it. I tried it to hill. find like some old time porn. You know, it, it was around in like the Victorian ages. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I tried to find some. I, actually, I got a guy. I got a guy. There's you a dude a guy. who's you a rare. got to have a guy. He's a rare bookseller. And he was uh, showing these medical public, these big leather bound corded medical books uh, on Instagram. I can't remember his channel. He's a rare bookseller. And he said these three legit medical books one of them was like from the 1600s one was from the 1800s and they all had uh lichenism in them which is you know werewolves and if you had these symptoms you probably were a werewolf and this was like thought up until the 1800s and i hit him up i'm like hey like a dumbass people do this to me all the time hey how much are those books like because i like i had in my head a price that i'm like I'm going to buy one of these for Amanda. But then he sent me a link and I'm like, sorry to waste your time, man. I'd already found the link. Thank you so much for your time. Um, They're all two grand a piece. They start at two grand. That's that's actually not bad. And I'm like, and so it turns out he's an author. Somebody had said, hey, man, I love your content. Don't ever stop doing this. He's like, my day job's pretty fun, too. So I looked at his other page and he does this thing called like from beyond the grave or something. So he is an author, but I think he's doing like unsolved mystery kind of shit. I'm like, dude, you should come on our podcast. We'd love to have you on. And he basically said, uh, fuck off. Not really, but he's like, I'm booked up for the rest of the year. And I'm like, oh man. And then somebody pointed out like, John, there's only like six weeks left in the year. So that is true. There so, is um, like six weeks very, left. very interesting content this dude has, but he would definitely, um, at least know where to get the uh, the old timey porn. Old timey you know, when porn. they were boxing like this and shit. Yeah. They're probably a dude. At the with minute a I, I am sure, there. I am actually a hundred percent sure that when the first when the first flash bulb went, and you, the, I'll bet there was a dude drawing the, it. And prior. the dude and the dude took the tin type out, and he's looking at his tin type. He's like, I bet I can get married to get naked. I, I guarantee you, the second photo was a naked girl, hundred percent. Man, and with all the all the cool stuff we found, I have never seen any of that. I've seen like photograph like photographs, right? You go into some antique stores and they have this 
area where they have a bunch of photos and they got the special you box. just you just haven't you just haven't it's like into pictures the right guy yet. it's like pictures of your grandma naked like when she was you know 21 old time kind of stuff black and your white. grandma there's a weird that's weird how you say that your grandma well, i didn't want to say i didn't want to be like pictures of your mom not really meaning well, your mom. It really, so it I went be, with the safe side would be and went great, with my grandma. It would be your great-great-grandma naked when she was 21. Because old-timey tins came out a long Not time ten. ago. I wasn't talking tins. I was talking like pre-Polaroid. Pre -po oh. Do you remember you used to have to well, go and again, develop John, pictures? J again, John, uh, your grandma would be Polaroid time frame. Polaroids don't last. I don't know. We found a Polaroid out at, at, uh, at Joe's. We of a murder a, scene uh, at Joe's murder scene house, and uh, she was naked, and it definitely looked like it was the fucking sixties in the Polaroid picture. Do you have the picture? No, no, no. It <clears throat> it's, it stayed on the property. I think Joe has it framed and hanging in his office. That's neat. Maybe can we get a picture of the picture? Uh, maybe Is, I'll ask him. Is she naked? It's got boobies out. I think it's just a booby shot, if I remember right. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's just a booby shot. Interesting. It was interesting that we found that, and then we found. Uh, human skull so it's just crazy what you can find if you just look around i didn't find the human skull. man i god i wish i would have found that human skull there would have been a whole what would you do with Macbeth it? thing what would i would you have quietly kept it maybe yeah maybe it's pretty cool it was pretty cool but do you ever a, a crime was solved? Do you remember how you used to have to develop pictures? You'd take all your pictures. Was it was uh -huh. it one ten and thirty five? One ten and thirty five. Right. Do you remember taking pictures and having them developed? Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you ever have any questionable pictures developed? Yeah, but uh, way back in the day, of course. Some people get mad. They're like, never bring pictures here, but they'd still give them to you. Yeah. And then did you see that? Did you see that? I don't know what movie it is where they're where they're doing that where the old man is, the old man's teaching the girl how to develop you know how to use the machine and stuff and he's like and he's you know just this sweet old man and he's telling her you know you got to develop this how you use the machine blah 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 and then he's like and every time every now and then you're going to get some questionable photos photos that might shock you a little bit you you still have to develop those photos and make sure that the customer gets them because and, and make a duplicate yeah and he's like <laughs> and then you make a copy and you put it in this drawer right over here <laughs> that's funny i remember going to pick pictures up at the they, we had a costco photo. you went to costco so, and you went so we did costco you look through all the things but we did costco but we actually took them to a place in town where we used to live and they'd put paper up across the window because they'd come out like they'd, oh, yeah, they'd yeah, shoot yeah. them across yeah, the front window. Those so ones. you know they were working on your shit when, or somebody yeah. had some good pictures when you go up and they had yeah. a bunch of white papers taped to the window yeah. where they'd come across. That's crazy. It's, and you can't even, you, the crazy thing is we, we took all those photos, we developed all those photos, we put them in photo albums, And I was just recently looking at photo albums, and the pictures are terrible. Yeah, <laughs> like the, pic the did pictures. They are like, did they degrade or maybe they? I, they must have the the paper must not be good enough or whatever. They must be degrading, but they're just like I, the thing I notice is the they're they're going black, right? They're going dark. They're the color is still there, but there's not really color there anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's like hmm, that's a tragedy because I really thought. And again, maybe it's just because of the time we were in. I really thought I was like, "Yeah, that's a great picture." And now I look at it, I'm like, "That is terrible." I can't you remember the smell spent when money. you walk in a shop where they would process photos. Mm -hmm. That smell, yep. that yep. chemical smell. Yep. So we put, I, I say we, I put everything on a hard drive. So even like this phone is constantly filled up. Yeah. It's full right now. I have to dump content every morning to record more content, and this is the biggest thing they make. Um, so I just drag them to a hard drive. And then somebody pointed out, like, I have, how many hard drives do you think we got? A hundred at least probably? Probably, yeah. He's laughing. He's like, yeah, more like 800. Um, but somebody pointed out, like, you know, those hard drives go bad. I'm like, no, they don't. I've never plugged one. She's like, when's the last time you plugged a hard drive in? I will say this. I've heard that too. I've heard that too. And I have some old ass shit. So, so far... So Trisha was it like, all, it all Trisha's like, you got to use a solid up. state. Yeah. And I'm like, well, how much is, I buy these, I buy these four terabytes for like a hundred dollars. And she's like, yeah, those, like I have a, you're going to, the day is going to come just like all those photos. The day is going to come when somebody is going through our shit and they're like, 
No, there's nothing on these. They don't. They don't power up. I mean, they have a jewel movement inside. Maybe, them, maybe, maybe that's true. But then again, maybe it's not. I got again. I got a gateway computer that I just pulled out to see what was on this gateway computer, and it's thirty years old. And the everything works, but the monitor. The monitor won't turn so on. So you just plug a monitor in. So I it. just, you know, plug something else into it and made it work. You know who could fix it. Yeah, but again, it's thirty years old. Why would I? I'm gonna, you know, I'm, no, I'm gonna no, use no, it no, for. No. I'm gonna use it for something else. I'm talking about if if you, some other if content. we had some hard drives that ceased working. Yeah, you know who could fix them? Who? Ranger Dave. Oh yeah, Ra- Ranger Dave would. Here's the problem with Ranger Dave fixing it. If Ranger Dave fix fixes your hard drive, he'll, nobody will be able to use it but him. He'll have a hundred percent access to it, but the problem is Ranger Dave is going to get on there and he's going to pull some stuff up that's pre you. <laughs> like he's gonna he's gonna be like, you want to see what was really going on in the sixties? Boop boop boop, and it's gonna come off your hard drive, and you're gonna be like, how the where the fuck did that come from? And he's like, it was always there. He, like he's he's gonna he's gonna turn your your stupid hard drive into a quantum thinking uh, machine, and it's gonna you're gonna go on there and you're gonna look at pictures of this stuff that Dave pulls off of your hard drive from my flood from Tartaria. No, it, but it's it's gonna be you. It's gonna be you. But it's going to be you from a parallel universe. It's not going to be you. You're going to be like, I didn't live that life. What the fuck, Dave? And he's like, sometimes the computer does that. That's kind of, that's how Dave operates. That's he operates you- on a new level. But wait, before you continue, Brandel, would you do me a favor yes. and go into the kitchen and find me some sort of chocolate metrics super bar that I can eat real quick before I pass out? They say like when a kid eats a candy bar for the first time, it... It changes them, you know? And I think that I have that out of my body. What's up with the 100 grand bar, bro? I can't say it. What's up with the 100 grand bar, bro? I'm still uh, savoring its caramel, chocolatey nugget goodness. I don't think I've had a candy bar in over a decade. I've not had a soda in, I'll bet, six years probably. The last time I had a soda was probably at a, sitting at a meal with you at a restaurant. Maybe, yeah. It's been a while. You don't you don't take us to dinner anymore. Well, go, we can go to dinner. I don't ever have anybody I want to go to dinner with. And Amanda's like, I'm like, where do you want to eat? She's I thought like, the, I thought the problem is there's really nowhere to go anymore. Well, we not here. There's not. Yeah, there's really nowhere to go anymore. We drive ninety minutes to go have dinner. Mm-hmm. But l- l- lately, I'm like, what do you want? She says steak. Like, what do you want with it? Nothing. Just meat. It's good. It's all you need. I bought a um, and a gas station Twinkie every now and then. When you look at ribeyes, they're like twenty dollars a piece, fifteen dollars a piece. And then I saw a, a porterhouse. Like, okay, man, that's a much bigger piece of meat, and it's only ten dollars. I wonder what's up with it. So I bought two of them and cooked them, and I didn't eat them. Like I'm like, some this is not good. She's like, it's just a different cut of meat. It is just a different cut of meat. Yeah, the. Not as tasty cut of meat. Hence the reason why it was cheaper, John. Yeah, I should have known. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. Tacos, maybe? Maybe. But I just want to be able to cook my meal in five minutes. I hear you. What are you doing? Are you color grading right now? Are you sedate? Are you sedated from that? Uh, can- no, I, candy I, bar. It's probably gonna. It probably just saved my life. Are you gonna start balancing off the wall? No, no, uh-uh. no. It'll be good. My toe might fall off, but other than that, I'm I'm good. That's why I have the large uh, foot box. <laughs> That's why I like the large foot box. That way, I uh, you know make room for swelling. Make room for swelling or toe fall off. So the army. Sorry, chart. I shouldn't make fun of that. I know people have lost their toes, but that's self induced. <clears throat> sometimes, I mean, sometimes the army it's truck didn't show up. No, it hasn't shown up. It has not shown up. Weird. I had comms with him. It's too, a great times. truck too. Like like. What would the application be? What would we use it for? Well, it's it, it the application of what he has it set up for. It's a it's a badass service truck. Like if I had if I had like a fleet of diesel trucks or something like that, that thing would be perfect for it cuz he's he's asking 20 for it. 18. 18 now. He's dropped. Um there's there's really $20,000 of fucking toolboxes on that thing. Does it come with the toolbox? It's all on the bed. He modified the bed. It's a it's a badass. Like 
when I saw it come up for 20, like it, I pass it all the time. And I was actually going to go talk to him and be like, Hey, what's up with this truck? You know, what, is it really worth it? Cause he, I see him driving it around all the time. Yeah. It's got a caterpillar motor yeah. in it. So it's been heavily modified. It's got a, you know, uh, external fuel tank so you can fuel up vehicles. Like it, I guess I, I said semi trucks, but if you had like a heavy equipment company, that thing would be perfect. It's super tall though, right? Yeah, they're you're super not, tall. You're not reaching shit from the side of it. No, you're not. Re well, hit, the way his toolboxes are, you can. It's kind of drop lowered, and then on the rear, he has made the the rear bumper in such a way that you can walk right up the back of it. It's a it's a badass truck, but again, if you don't have the if it's you like, don't have it's the equipment like having a five support. ton dump truck. If you don't have equipment that can load it, it's yeah, no it's, use to you. You gotta have the you gotta have the equipment. I mean Don't get me wrong, John. If I had twenty grand sitting around that I could just easily blow, I would buy it right now. That one? Uh-huh. So I hit him up and I said, Hey, number first of all, I'm not a buyer for this thing. But I have a lot of people that watch my content that would be a buyer for this thing. I go, and we should be friends anyways, you're really close to us. Said, why don't you bring that thing up here? We'll shoot some video of it and just, if, you know, if nothing else, we'll just put it up on our social media. And uh, he asked a couple questions. And then day before yesterday, I said, hey, be here at, you know, 10 o'clock Wednesday. And he's like, yep, I was going to try to come over there yesterday and it was just a mess with the rain. Um, I'll, I'll get over there. And then nothing. He might not want to sell it. Maybe well, I mean, he might, he it. probably, I mean, he doesn't know who we are. He probably thinks it's some fucking. True facebook scam or something i was Could just be. trying to help him out yeah. and plus i think he runs an automotive shop right i just wanted to yeah, meet him yeah it's kind of a uh, well again i don't know what he does because i'm just assuming where he parks that vehicle it's kind of a um it's in waverly you can rent u-hauls there there's cars there's for the sale auto there. shops there there's yeah. a like a junkyard back in the back there's, in that he's, quarry. there's a lot of stuff so I don't yeah know. they moved in i don't know where they came from but they moved in with some giant trailers and yeah. lived right there kind of homesteading for a while i when i drove past there sunday i think i went to tractor supply and there was chickens out front running around so they're kind of you know doing whatever they're doing yeah that's where we had to uh, return the the u-haul to yeah every time i'm out of town and i have to rent a u-haul <laughs> to bring stuff back it never leaves town. Like every U-Haul sitting here in town are ones we brought in. Nobody <laughs> ever takes big U-Hauls out of here. Right. Yep. Anyways, yeah. So it's a, it's a. I don't know mechanically, but I'm gonna assume that the truck is sound mechanically just because of all the shit he's done on the exterior of it. We can just drive over there. Yep. Look at it. Check it out. Check it out. It'd Take be, it for a spin. So what's it drive like? Forty five miles an hour. No, those are uh, probably doesn't have a nice sound system in it. Those trucks will go sixty five. Like sixty five rattling the truck apart? Or no, no, no. Legit they're D65? they're legit. They're legit trucks. But you have to have a, a special driver's license for them. I don't think so. I don't think it meets the length requirement. Really? Yeah. As I don't heavy think it, as that thing is, I don't think it meets the length. Because it's a wrecker, right? No, no. It's a. It, I I am going to assume that it was a uh, that it was just a regular flatbed truck, and he put all the other stuff. On, he converted it to a, a a really a pretty cool work truck. Um, so yeah, it wasn't a wrecker. What, what would be the appropriate trailer for that thing? They have the FMTVs have their, they have a FMTV trailer. They have a, you know, the government don't waste no money. They buy as much crazy shit as they can. And it's a, it's an all aluminum trailer way too high off the ground. So you got to use a ladder to get in the motherfucker. You know, none of the, none of the military vehicles are really, it's all made for loading docks. Yeah, well, it's it's made for <coughs> other heavy equipment that lifts things high, and then you can put it inside of it, you know. So they're not very user-friendly. So it looks silly pulling a Humvee trailer around with it. Kind of. Because the, hum the Humvee trailer is going to be lower. I think you could pull your dog kennel. I mean, I do believe it, I do believe it would pull the kennel, but... You know what I'm saying? It, you're you're gonna notice that the kennel's back there. It's not like a regular. You know, it wouldn't be like pulling a regular load. You'll notice the kennel, kennel's back there. Got it. So, what's next for your channel? What do you got out? You got two two videos out now. Two videos. Just keep pushing content. Dog kennel, little spoon. Yep. Keep pushing content. That's the key. So, Randall has something to watch when he's bored at three o'clock in the morning instead of face Facebook texting me about 
All his problems. He doesn't ever text me about problems, but he does forward. I know exactly what he's watching every morning. Yeah. Because I send it to him. <laughs> if he's sending it to you, I'm like, send this to Jeff. <laughs> uh, so, no. Uh, that's it. Just try and push content. Just try and make it work. Cool. Get it, get it out. Just like everything else. All right. Well, I'm totally off my game. We I am are, too. The fucking yeah. lunch killed it. Yeah. Well, the lunch and then we were set back by an hour, which is me completely fucked up on this. Yeah. So we're going to cut this one short, guys. We're going to roll over to Patreon, do the Patreon questions, and uh, then we got some. Are other- we cutting it short? Have we really only been going for eight minutes? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> can I have Holy a clock sh- in here? Can I get a clock? Can you, hey, can you put can can you put a clock in here? But make sure it's like uh, tick, Singapore, tick, tick. like it's the only telling time in Singapore or Zulu Land. Some something just. Oh, you know it'd be great. Let's put a clock in here that has a time on it, but it says the Wonka Factory, so we know what time it is in the Wonka Factory. Since nobody knows where the Wonka Factory is actually at, we know where the Oompa Loompas are. Uh, of course, they're at Walmart. You better stop eating that shit. Why? Because it's poisonous. I take pills. You you caught me at a low, man. I almost died in here. If you stop eating this, you could stop taking the pills. Hundred thousand grand bar, bro. Mm-hmm. What's the hundred thousand? What are we doing? It was for um, a video that we're gonna do later. We're gonna. Take- oh, we're not supposed to eat these. No, I have to go get more. Now. Yeah, you're Why? gonna have to go buy more. <laughs> There's three left. We need That's four. We can tape this one back together. Happy you, Halloween. Is today Halloween? No. Yesterday. Today's was. the day of dead. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday was Halloween. The girls look better anyways. On the day of the dead? Yeah, because oh. they have their faces painted and stuff, you know. They paint their faces on Halloween too. That's the same. There's more boobs on day of the dead. Is there? It's more of an adult where? type of thing. Because you know what? Sewn in, in all the bags we just made. I went on a drive last night. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did. I went on a drive last night and... Um, it was in prime trick or treat time, but you don't have trick or treating. It was in prime trick or treat time. Well, I drove all the way to Humboldt. Um, it was in prime trick or treat time, and the thing I noticed the most is no one was trick or treating. Well, you have to go where there's actually houses and sidewalks. I, I did. I drove through towns, and there like, was nobody trick or treating here. Every lot is a half acre. Like kids are so, lazy. Like, they trick-or-treat from their mom drops them off, and they run I just out. was kind of interested in how little, like, even when I got to Humboldt, which is a real, not Humboldt, the town after that has the big court square and that little tiny movie theater and shit. Even when I got to that town, there were only two kids walking down the street. Think of all the fear now. Fear of what? Fear of being poisoned, fear of razor blades, did you fear see of that needles, it, fear I, of terrorist attacks. They just did a, I just saw this yesterday, which is very interesting. They did a study. This guy did a, a research paper on um, kids being killed in Halloween because of spike candy. There's no, never been a never, recorded yeah, case. Yeah. yeah. Never been a recorded case of somebody eating a razor blade. There's a bunch of shit like that. Things that we do today that are, we have this lore of some uh-huh. things happen and you find out that it's never happened. That's like, uh, um, so in the eighties, in the eighties, when everybody was, when the hype about uh, kids getting kidnapped the the individual who went on the news and started this, he picked a number out of his head of four hundred thousand uh, kids being kidnapped across the United States, and then come to come to find out that the number is nowhere even close to that. <laughs> that is just it was just fictitious, and everything that we've everything that we've propagated since then has been based off a number that was totally not real. We should have talked about this on the podcast we just did, and it, I, I just, just you just reminded me of it. No, you know, not, you gotta, not this. Not you got to pull it out. No, I got another thing I'm about to. Oh, what what. Okay, so you know about the main shooter? Yes. Okay, what do you know about him? That he's uh, outside of that he shot a bunch of people. Nothing, because I don't. I'm not interested in that kind of news. Okay, so he went to a bowling alley, which uh-huh. you kept hearing. He was a huge cornhole player. Okay, and he shot. Was he up, mad about cornhole? He shot up. Apparently, it was a cornhole tournament that was happening. Um, some of the people were he played against, and they were shit talking on social media about him. Mm-hmm. Um, he was a 20 year army veteran. He was in, in for 20 years, I think combined service okay. or whatever. His unit said, um, he is not safe. Do not let him have guns or ammunition. The unit, somebody from the unit actually called law enforcement and said, Hey, we are concerned about this person. You might want to check on him. His brother 
said, I think his brother said he didn't have any of the, like the gun or whatever that he had. It, it was unknown. He, and the FBI came out and said, yes, we actually, he has been on our radar for several weeks. So the FBI now, uh, uh, no, again, knows about this guy. Um, didn't find him. Took a couple of days to find him. They found him in a dumpster or like a recycling bin. Um, said he was suicided. He killed himself, but he had two bullet holes in his head, I believe, is what they said. Again, multiple bullet holes. Just maybe he's quick on the trigger. Kind of, kind of weird. Gun gun he's was. Using, you know what? What is, he was using a Geisley trigger. The gun was the gun was recently purchased within the last couple of weeks. So the same time this happened, there's another shooter. Were you aware there's another weird thing has happened? Uh, I mean, it may have blipped on my radar, but I don't look into those. Okay, there's a there. there's an amusement park in Colorado. And it's like got sky trams and jump off the cliff kind of stuff mm-hmm. and this whole underground cave system and this river cave system like we were talking about in uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. Um, so this kid sneaks in. He's dressed completely SWAT. He's got SWAT patches, body armor, rifle, pistol, all kinds of shit. Goes and sneaks in the back way because they have to take you up to the park. Mm-hmm. Sneaks in, gets in a woman's bathroom, leaves his AR-15 across the sink goes into the stall writes on the stall i'm not a murderer i just want to see the tunnels and then fucking smokes himself with again just just weird bizarre shit same day um and you didn't there was no mention of this they tried to completely close this down and the theory is they sat on it for several days to bring it out uh, because Colorado is trying to remove Trump from the ballots. They're trying to make it so Trump, and apparently there's a bunch of other states that have jumped on this, trying to remove him from the ballot. Hey, if you, if you, if you want to, if you want to talk about an, a, a rigged election, remove Trump from the ballot. I mean, fucking people are so stupid. You, you can't, you can't wave the flag of democracy and then be like, we don't like you. You can't be on the ballot. It's just bullshit. The fucking Democrat, you fucking liberal Democrats, Jesus Christ. I, I can't, it just, the, it f- boggles my mind how you can justify that the law only applies when it is for you. It only applies when you want it to apply for you. But outside of that, they'll break every rule. They'll fucking commit murder. They will fucking commit genocide as long as it pushes their fucking bullshit agenda. It's fucking ridiculous. If you're a Democrat, you know, you need to get your fucking head out of your ass and really look what your party is doing for, for anyone. So you can't think of a single thing that they've done for anybody. Except, you know, your kids are going to get their, their, your kids aren't going to get their fucking college tuition forgiven, but they're definitely going to get drafted to go fight in Iran because your Democratic Party is pushing a fucking world war. I fucking, ugh, I can't, it just fucking irritates the fuck out of me. It's really mind-bottling. It is mind-bottling. Have you seen all the, speaking of draft, have you seen all the videos of the, what what generation are you? Are you Gen Z? Are you a Zoomer? Uh, 1986. No. What, what, who's all the, who's all the little sissy fags out there talking about you can't draft me because I'm on all kinds of medications and I won't go to war and he's sitting there eating apples and putting them in caramel. You guys don't know what I'm talking about? No. Holy uh. shit. Oh, yeah, I saw that. But it, video about when, <laughs> You know, can we it, say sissy fag? No, not you can't. There's no way. Do you make you should make these into shorts? There's no way you can say that. Um, the, the when somebody says I'm on all kinds of medications and oh, he I'm had doing all this, stuff, it doesn't matter. And I and and he, they can't draft me. Yeah, the thing that he does not he the thing that he does not know because he doesn't know because he's an idiot is there's a waiver for everything, buddy. And if we have to send if we have to send lambs to the slaughter, they don't give a fuck what medication. They you're use on. you guys to find the mines. They don't care what medication you're on. You, they won't care about you know that you have a special pronoun because you're not going to last. Anyways. He did. He mentioned bi. He's bisexual and his pronouns and it won't it won't matter anyways because again you're cannon fodder. Gen Z is ninety seven to twenty twelve birthday. Yeah, that'd be this guy. That'd be yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Sissy fag zoomer. Jesus, John. Andrew, the fact that we have to even ask, are we allowed to say that? Well, we're on Patreon, <clears throat> right? Can't we say anything on Patreon? Yeah, but it loads. Kind of? But it's unlisted. Because <laughs> um, yeah, only, only red-blooded Americans are watching this anyways. 
Oh, speaking of red blooded, have you heard that most cows, like when you get cows from the grocery store, uh-huh. a lot of your cows are actually um, the end of the line. Those cows are actually expired dairy cows. Um, it's and possible. They, they have all kinds of gases in their body and shit. And they were saying that the meat turns a weird color. There's toxins and stuff in the body. So a lot of the butchers, like if you if you go get a piece of steak at the grocery store and it's like super bright red, because I didn't know, I watched something about this this morning. I usually buy the super bright red one. And I know in my head, I'm like, this can't really be super bright red. They actually, Shh, they put a gas, they put a gas in there that turns it all bright red like yeah, that. Spray paint it. Um, you have to talk to our, our resident our our resident farmer, um, he says that uh, dairy cows are the best, the best eaten cows. Yeah, but his dairy cows aren't like fucking expired dairy cows. Well, it would have been an end of the line dairy cow. You don't, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna butcher a cow that is fucking providing milk. It would have had to have been an end of the line dairy cow. Do you think he's eating cows from the fucking grocery store? Or no, do you think no, he's but I'm one just, of his five hundred. I'm just saying that, you know, he. His, in his words, the fucking dairy cow is the best. And it was a really good hamburger. It's a mm. hamburger. It was a really good yeah. hamburger. Okay. Well, that's what cows are, John. They're a hamburger. When, you, when, you're buying your, when you're buying your cut of meat, um, <coughs> there's uh, 450 pounds of hamburger that came with that single cut of meat that you... Yeah, yeah. You give that to the, um, you give that to the food stamp program. No, come on. They gotta eat uh, Velveeta cheese just like everybody else. They they don't have to eat what the government gives them no more. You can go and see it at Walmart. They're buying uh, little lobster tails and shit. Mm. Genetically engineered lobster tails. You can at with food store. stamp. You can buy um, hundred grand bars. Hundred grand bars. And um, Mountain how many hundred grand? How many hundred grand bars can you buy with your food stamps? I don't know, but they take because they're very expensive. You can use EBT. Yeah, hundred grand. All right, Andrew says, for both John and Scully, grilled cheese or quesadilla? What's your take? Well, if I'm out on the run, it's going to be a quesadilla. And I do some fancy When you say on the run? Well, like quesadilla? not standing in the kitchen here, I, right? I, I think that uh, if, I was, if I'm out on the run, it's grilled cheese. No. Yeah, it has to be because yeah. a, good, a good quesadilla has got – salsa and sour cream and it's it has condiments a grilled cheese sandwich is just cut in half and you you get on the move well, my, the my quesadilla we're gonna we're gonna grill it we're gonna quesadilla it and we're gonna do it in bacon grease right of course so it's gonna be greasy but a but a proper grilled cheese sandwich right proper proper it's it's toasted with a burns matic right it's got that catalytic converter josh did and then he cuts the crust off for me and then he cuts it diagonal so no matter where i hold it right i can just get i can bite it on the little triangle yeah. part that's that's how you, and I mean I, usually I, he'd put like a a smiley face in there or a combat cock he would you know he'd toast it up proper oh well, I, I feel and then that, a proper it should proper. really have bacon and lettuce and tomato on it. it a grilled cheese sandwich yeah first you start with a grilled cheese and then oh. you put the other stuff on it no oh, that's that's just that's blasphemy right there well i mean uh, the I mean, only thing if is you're using it with if you're making it with welfare sandwich. cheese only thing on a grilled cheese sandwich is a grilled cheese sandwich. And I believe that the first grilled cheese sandwich was made with welfare cheese. I don't know about that. I don't think anybody was not using welfare cheese. You ever seen welfare cheese? Welfare cheese? No Free way. Cheese. Did you ever get government cheese in a box? I uh, never had anything government. Never never anything government. I, mean, I woke up one morning, my, my, my butt was sore. I didn't know if that was good. His parents were always employed. That's correct. You got a... You got a government. Hey, you got a government name just like the rest of us. Every month they collect them taxes off that government name. Yeah, yeah. You got a government name. They know your name. If somebody asked you or gave you the option to enlist right now, brand new, would you do it? Brand new. You have all your strength. Your age is. Oh, I mean, it, it could if if uh, if nineteen or eighteen year old Scully could rejoin the Marine Corps. Do I get to retain everything I know now? Yes, yes, you do. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking there, and dude. You'd fight for this country. Yeah, I'm. I, I would. I would be right there, you'd huh? Fight for the bankers. I would. I would fight for the bankers. Yes. I, bro, I'm a legionnaire. I understand. I understand how the world works, and yes, I would stand next to those fucking young marines that are out there right now, suffering through all this woke. Save their lives, and I would take them into the fight. I more than, and you know what? While I'm doing it, 
you, you, here's the thing. This is going to get us in trouble. But as I raise my staff and pierce the side of Christ, I'm going to go, hey, this is wrong. You guys really shouldn't be doing this, okay? But somebody's got to do it. I mean, I, I, I am a, I, 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 I don't, I don't not like anything that I did. Um, and I do believe that you can function in that system in an honorable manner. It's, it's hard and you will be fucking angry all the time, but it's, it's about those, it's about those other Marines. It's about those other Marines. And, and when, when something bad happens, okay. So for, for example, the Marines that were killed in Kandahar, when something bad happens, by the giants, like that, yes, by the giants, that is a, that is a, leadership failure and it is because the current system does not foster good leadership and so again if 18 year old uh scully with the current information i have oh my god i'd be the saltiest lance corporal on the fucking planet untouchable untouchable how long would you remain a lance corporal i mean i, I and i would probably stay i would probably stay a lance corporal right up until the first gunfight and then they would be like no we got to promote you <laughs> Oh, I knew while I was there. You knew while you were there. Yeah, I have I have videotape of me in Kuwait for the first Gulf War in uh, in this last war talking about um, the you know the issues of the issues of what the United States does and how we are not really the good guys in a lot of the stuff. But you got to self mitigate. You got to self mitigate those things. If if you say. If you say you are carrying the flag of righteousness and you know the truth, but you're allowing um, American youth to continue to go over there and you are not willing to suit up and get in the game and do everything you can to ensure that they are not going to do something unholy, um, then you're just, your voice doesn't mean anything. Get what I'm saying? Like, you just, voice doesn't mean anything because. A rifle platoon of Marines, 18 year you know, the oldest kid I had was 23. The majority of them were between 18 and 20. They're fresh. They don't know anything, but they've been trained to kill. And if you don't, if you were, if you don't have the proper leadership in place to ensure that they do it when they're supposed to and not, it just, it can turn into something very unholy. Because you can't count on, you know, the reality is I know that the fucking government is a soup sandwich. You can't count on any of them. There's no fucking four-star generals. There's no, there's actually no general. There's nobody with a star on right now that is worth a shit. They don't give a fuck about their troops. They don't they don't plan anything right anymore. It's all just a fucking soup sandwich. So it's up to, you know, it's up to individuals to be able to get in there and maybe control the type of fight and damage that we're doing. You know, you, here's the thing. Right now, we are in the Middle East. We've sent carrier groups over there. We've sent Marines over there. And this fucking current administration is doing everything they can to get those kids killed so they can war profiteer on the next big war. And you know who's not saying anything about it? The fucking uh, Secretary of Defense, all the fucking, all the goddamn four-star generals, three-star generals, two-star, none of them are saying anything about it. They're allowing this fucking government to drag us into another fight. Why? Because it's all these wars across the country or all these w wars across the world that are propping up this failed economy. Yep. It's the, it, they're, yep. To back the dollar yep. It's, they're just propping up a failed they economy made a because. With, yeah, made a deal with a bunch of countries yep. and said, you know what? You join us and use our dollar. All right. And back in the 1940s, a couple of countries got a little curious and said, well, you know what? We want the gold. They went, oh, oh my, oh, I don't, Federal Reserve, I don't have the gold. So then we went to Iraq, right? And Stole we, all that Then we gold. tried to back it with the oil. But first, before we did that, Nixon came in. Or no, that was after. And then he created the EPA. They took about 25% of the land that the U.S. had and tried to back it with that, right? Then they went to the oil. You know, it's like the issue one is, after the other. What the issue in that, that dollar with? But the issue in that scenario, right, when you talk about all that, so we'll use like gold, for example. You can't expand an economy. You can't expand your reach off of a solid commodity, right? And so we went as far as we went on gold.
But in order to print more money, we had to pretend that we had some other asset that was bigger than the gold. And we were right? sitting here having all these other countries export all their goods for the dollar. And then they were like, this ain't nothing, dude. Well, I want something. So then we got to make a deal and we got to go to war with another country so that we can have something to barter with. Well, it's a, because really, honestly, these countries should come after the U.S. Currently, currently, we're not, we're currently, we don't give two shits about the rest of the world. It's all this money that we're spending, like all the money we're sending to Ukraine, all that. It's all coming back to the United States. What we are doing is, for example, uh, Joe Biden, if he came out tomorrow and said, hey, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give, I'm going to, I'm going to print out a hundred billion dollars. And I'm going to give, uh, you know, everybody $5,000 to go fucking spend it on whatever. It would instantly expand the economy, right? But nobody's going to vote for that. But if I say, hey, we have this war over here that gives us an opportunity to fight the Russians without fighting the Russians, we're going to send them $100 billion. Where does Ukraine buy all their equipment from? They buy it from us. So it all goes right back to us. And who's invested in all those companies? The guys voting for it. And, the, and the, the crazy thing is, so what a lot of people don't know, is you can be convicted in the United States for war profiteering. So if you were selling air conditioners to the U.S. government to go fight in Iraq, and your air conditioners cost 500 bucks, but you're like, mm, now they cost 1000 because there's a war on. The government technically can go after you for war profiteering. So they have that law in place so that even though everything is more expensive than it should be. They have that law in place so they can go after people that they feel like they need to go after. When we did the first approval, so when they did the first $100, million or $100 billion approval for uh, Ukraine, the first thing the Department of Defense did was contacted all the name brands and said, guess what? War profiteering's out the window. You guys can charge whatever you want for whatever it is. So Ukraine is paying ungodly amount of money for the equipment and the technology that we're sending them. Ukraine don't know better. They don't know no better. And plus, they don't give a shit because it's not their money. It's our money that's going back into all these corporations, which is helping prop up our, our economy. The problem that I have with that, like I don't, again, if fucking Ukraine wants to buy a Javelin missile from the United States and, you know, Teledyne Ryan's like, well, you're going to pay 10 times more than the U.S. I don't care. Maybe they should have to pay more, right? <coughs> but the problem is when I sell a fucking Javelin missile for, I think they're $40,000. I might be wrong. They might be cheaper now. They were real expensive. Um, but it, let's say I sell that Javelin missile for $40,000 to Ukraine, but they were costing $20,000. When all this is over and Uncle Sugar goes to buy a Javelin missile, They've set the market price. They're going to be $40,000 again. So the Department of Defense is really tricking everyone in the United States to say we're helping them when we're not. We're helping all these fucking, you know, Defense Department contracts. That's all we're doing. Now, it it does trickle back into the, obviously, it does trickle back in the economy. And it's the reason why we don't, it's the reason why Americans don't realize that we are actually at 23% interest, you know, our inflation. Inflation is actually at 20. Well, they're saying it, they're saying it's 11, but it's more like 23. But the reason why we don't notice it is because all that money that we're pretending is going to Ukraine, is actually coming back in. And, you know, again, Northrop Grumman, Northrop Grumman has a lot of fucking employees. So same thing with, you think about ammunition and all that. It's a, it is a big industry across the United States and it's helping keeping us from fucking a total collapse, but it's, it's all fake. It's just fake. It's just smoke and mirrors. That's all they're doing is smoke and mirrors, and nobody can do anything about it. I hope the, you know, I hope the new uh, Speaker of the House can rally his fucking troops and this $100 billion that they're trying to give away to fucking Israel and, and the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, that they tell them to fuck off. You're not giving that money away anymore. Because, again, Israel doesn't need a dime. They don't need a dime. They don't need any troops. That dude's a rhino anyways. Huh? Yeah. Tried to create his own no, I, I get it. Gaddafi, all of them. Saddam Hussein did. Gaddafi, gone. Yep. No, I, I, I get it. Oh, there's terrorists. We've got a, this problem. We created this problem. We've got to have a solution. We've got to go over there and get to war. But it's just fake. 
Well, it's, it's not. Fake. It's all fake. It's, it's all. It's fake. all by design. Tried to get away from Watch yeah. the boogeyman. It's not. It's not. It's not fake, but it's by design. Meaning, by design. with the with the amount of money, uh, you know, scripted. with the amount of the money and the way you 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 pull the strings. Yes, can I get a bunch of people in the Middle East really mad at America? I can just through. Just through design, and now you've let them all through the border. Yeah. Now they're so, now they're amongst you. Yeah, it's a it's a fucking shit show. But to answer your original question, you're goddamn right. I would. Fuck yeah, I would. I would go back in a heartbeat. Like he, just to protect he, he, your fellow man. Here, here's the thing. This should tell you my level of commitment. If they called me up right now and said, "Hey, we know you're old, but you can come back." suit up and go get in the game i'd go i would it's not even a, it's not even an idea of would i would i or would not i would go i would go back if they're like hey staff sergeant we're gonna give you a rifle platoon uh yeah we know you can't run anymore but we're just gonna give you this rifle platoon fuck yeah i would go i would fucking go wherever they could send me to i don't know they could they could send send me in that rifle platoon to go fight the fucking pope i'd go I'd go because uh, I, re- I really want to see what's under the Vatican. But You're not going to get to see yeah. that. I really want to see what's under the Vatican. You got to take the space shuttle. I'm down. just saying. I, I did the. the I, I just. I love the Marines. I talk a lot of shit about the Marine Corps because the Marine Corps needs a lot of shit talked about it because they have failed leadership policies. But the Marines, fucking Marines are Marines, with the right leadership. There's nothing there with the right leadership. There is nothing a Marine rifle platoon cannot accomplish. Period. All right, let's go look at this thing. We'll come back. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for participating. Uh, we'll be more energetic next episode. <laughs> Maybe.